In the macaque house, Mum Rumpel and Baby Ray are attracting more attention than they can handle. The other animals come across Ray, you know, give a poke and a pull and things, and um, she can only do so much as to uh, protect her. Baby Ray is only three days old, but the rest of the group are refusing to leave her alone. Their behaviour varies from either sort of just sitting near her and sort of giving her a nice little groom and to the more sort of dominant characters who kind of come along and try to grab a bit of an arm or a leg. They're learning social dynamics in the group from like a very early age because it is a really important part of like macaque life. One member of the group is holding back. Belle is another low-ranking female. And like Ray, when she was born five years ago, she was also the only infant in the group. And she carries the scars from the time. With Belle, she's got quite distinctive, like, pink markings on her face. And um, because when she was a baby, she was the only youngster in the group and everyone was really focused on her. So she used to get a lot of, um, like, scratches on her face and now it's kind of permanently scarred. Rumpel is finding it hard to fend off the excessive interest in Ray. The higher ranking females all want to hold the baby at once. She just has to sort of stay on her toes a little bit and keep everyone a bit at guard to sort of just make sure the baby is safe. Ray may have found a new ally in Belle. Who decides to step in. She kind of obviously sees this baby and she's like, oh, I was treated the exact same way. She was the only baby at that time. It looks like Belle has decided to help Rumpel out. It seems like Belle has a bit of a soft spot for Ray. This could be because she was a low-ranking animal as well, and so she could be just trying to make friends, so in the future she has a, a buddy uh, to help her. With Belle on her side, Ray now has a good chance of making it through these challenging early days. It's easy to be with the Siloasies. It's like, you've got to go through this before we've got to know you're like strong and fit and tough enough to sort of handle life in our, in our macaque group. <laughs> 